Good morning. Well, probably as you can tell by the surroundings, I'm in our inflatable kayak. And I decided to go out on this chilly morning, chilly for Florida, I guess. I know most of you guys are in the middle of a winter freeze, but it's about 48 degrees here in uh, central Florida today. But I, um, I am on the Withlacoochee River. Um, we're here at the uh, boat launch where the campground is so I am going to paddle which is a unique little known factoid this part of the river actually runs north so I'm going to be paddling north up the river I guess if you will um, and I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go we'll see what we find this will be the first time a solo uh, trip in this infl new inflatable kayak so we'll be checking back in Just checking in at mile marker number one. Um, so far this has been a beautiful paddle. <clears throat> uh, there's nobody else out here, which also makes it a little bit creepy. Um, you know, whenever you hear anything, make some noise. Um, there was something that jumped in the water. I don't know if it jumped from the shore or if it was just a very large fish, um, but it made quite a commotion about five feet off the uh, off the side of the boat uh, so you know first thought is it's probably an alligator because there are tons of alligators around here I understand um, but uh, this is probably one of the smoothest rivers I've ever seen even though it is flowing north you can barely even tell it is extremely still um, it's super quiet I've gotten out to a little bit of a wider section when I was back um, you know the first mile it was a little more um, closed in a lot of mangrove trees um, things like that so uh, yeah this is uh, going well so far uh, I haven't hit run into any obstacles knock on wood that I have to uh, get out and carry the boat over so uh, we'll let you know what's going on between mile one and mile two again I don't know how many miles this is gonna be but we'll see so I'm just about at the two mile marker. And uh, one of the other things that makes this a little more adventurous, other than just the potential of the alligators and you know hidden things underneath the water that are not necessarily good for an inflatable kayak, is the fact that once you get in here into this current section around mile marker two from the campground, um, there's just water and trees and offshoots everywhere. So, uh, you know, I'll just give you a, a look around. You can kind of see there's no definitive, um, flow. So you gotta kind of got to watch the little bit of flow that there is going. And then I realize that up there in the tree, there's a little silver marker and I'm starting to see them. Um, which I believe are the guides for following the river. Um, so uh, now that I know those are there, uh, it's a little bit more helpful when I get into a real congested area where it's um, kind of hard to see what is uh, flowing what direction, especially when it's so calm. How quickly the terrain can change. Um, it wasn't probably three or four minutes ago I I recorded that last video and now we're out in this marshy area the sun is shining um, you know it's a lot brighter we got some beautiful birds up there at the top of that tree I don't know if you can see them with this wide angle lens but uh, yeah it's 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 beautiful out here for sure so uh, that's one of the nice things about kayaking you get these remote areas that you never would have seen from the street update on mile marker three um, <laughs> so I can see why some people don't start where I started and start paddling um, they start further north where the river is much more open um, this is really quite a confusing maze at times um, I don't know if you can see back there but I had to paddle through all those lily pads and weeds and whatever the heck else is going on there um, so I've had to do that several times. Had to go over a teeny little bit of waterfall um, as well. 
Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a little more challenging. I'm definitely burning some extra calories in this area. First of all, trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. And second of all, figuring out the best route to get there. So, uh, but still it's beautiful. You got some fish over there playing in the water. There are all kinds of birds and wildlife, um, out here. Uh, so if you're a bird watcher, this is a beautiful place to, uh, to come paddle. Figured I'd grab the camera for this, um, just in case it's needed in the future. Uh, right there, I don't know if you can see the ripples in the water, there was just an alligator swimming right above the surface with his eyes peeking up. So uh, I'm going to leave this running as I try to paddle far left here to make sure I don't interfere with whatever it is he's doing over there. One thing that gives me some solace is, or at least I'm telling myself, is that uh, because most people don't paddle this section of the, uh, the river, they start more north, um, a lot of these animals probably don't see humans very often, and maybe they're more afraid of them, of me, than I am of them. Um, so hopefully that's uh, at least giving me some peace of mind. I'm back. Um, I think the last time I updated you was around mile three. I'm now at mile six. Um, most of that was a blur. Uh, you know, there were some beautiful parts, but uh, I was paddling as fast as I probably could. Um, there were quite a few gators jumping in the water 10 feet from where I was, swimming probably under the boat. Um, I now hit mile marker six, my mile marker six. And as you can see, I'm not in the water anymore. Um, so the swamp just kind of took over um, and I'm not exactly sure where the river is anymore. I've got GPS. I'm looking on the map. Um, I'm going to figure this out. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this turned out to be a lot more of an adventure than I had anticipated. I'm glad I brought you along. Um, I'm about done, but uh, <laughs> I got to get the hell out of here. So uh, I've been out here for about three hours total on the river. So um, I'll get you updated once I figure out where I'm going and how to get back on the river. Check-in time. So, that's where I just came from. Um, I just hiked about three quarters of a mile carrying this thing on my head. If nothing else, I found out that I can break the paddle in half and hide it there, and I don't have to carry the paddle with one hand while I'm trying to carry the thing on my head. Um, so I found an old Forest Service road, and let me show you what I see up there. I actually see a gate up there. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going to be at, um, but clearly at some point I can get up there and then <laughs> I'm going to have to call my wife and have her come pick me up in the middle of the woods carrying a kayak. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm done with that river. This was, uh, not the greatest idea. Um, you know, between the gators, which scared the shit out of me, to be honest with you. Um, to traipsing through the middle of the woods here with God knows what. I know there's wild hogs out here, rattlesnakes, water moccasins, panthers. I, I don't know what else. Um, but I'm going to head up to that gate and then I'll let you know what I find out once I get up there. But I'm no longer officially lost, I guess. Okay. I got to the gate. Uh, looks like this is the boundary marker management area. Um, there's like a little screened in gazebo over there. I don't know. This is private, pri probably private property, but at this point I'm so damn lost. I don't care. I'm going to walk through it and chance it. I think there's a road in one of these directions over here I saw on the map. So I'm going to head that way and then, uh, make the distress call to my wife. By the way, I know I'll never hear the end of this, <laughs> but at least I'm the hell out of that swamp. 
Okay, figured I'd take you with me as I trek a little bit further. Um, so I'm following this little sandy road that was over there by the screened-in porch or screened-in building. I'm thinking it might have been a fish camp, but I don't know. Um, but I see a bunch of horse uh, tracks and deer tracks along this uh, sandy area here. And I'm coming to an opening. And so I'm hoping that up there is, whoop, this thing's falling. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm out in this big field. It is beautiful. As I was walking up that sandy road, five deer come running right through this field. It was beautiful, it was real pretty. Um, so there's a gate there. And I think over there between those trees, I might see another gate. So I'm gonna walk over that direction. I think there's a road around here. Now, the challenge is gonna be whether or not that road is actually accessible to the public or if it's on green swamp area. And if it is, then some Michelle's gonna need a code to get in. So it means I have, may have some more walking to do um, to get out to the public road. But uh, the Wandering Shores, this is how we got our name. <laughs> <laughs> all right well i am now as you can see out here in this cow pasture uh pissed off a few cows i was worried that they might charge me but they didn't so i kept walking and i met a real nice guy whose property i'm trespassing on and uh, he said yeah i'm about three miles from the road um <laughs> so he said this is not unusual and people don't usually paddle that part of the withacoochee river which uh i understand now why but he's going to get his car we're going to throw the boat in the back of his car and we're going to go meet up with michelle at a predetermined destination of pickup so that i can eat a bunch of crow so thanks for joining us uh i'm still alive I'm learning a lot. Uh, this was a fun adventure through most of it. It was scary through some of it, and uh, but I survived. So I said goodbye in the last clip, but I figured I'd just add this in. Taking a ride over to the meetup point. So this guy's super nice. Give me a, a ride out to the place where Michelle is gonna meet us. Thanks for following. Hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you see more of this nonsense. Thanks, guys.